daarom geef ik u een hartelijk applaus. Hier is Mika met mijn hond. Oh, it's so nice to have you. We had you, we had you yesterday already in the program. Please sit down on my beautiful couch. And this is my little dog, and he's it's 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 uh, it's the other dog. Busser. Yeah, it's it's Danish for uh, for uh, gay. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. He, so. Actually, we made out in the back. I've got to tell you. You made out? What well, did he, you make? He kissed me on the lips. Is it true? Within about two seconds of meeting me. I had the same experience yesterday night. Really? <laughs> Bussen, kom hier, kom hier, kom maar, kom maar. Je bent, de, de, kom maar, bussen. Kom maar, I just say, kom maar, um, nou. am I sit there? Sit, 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 yes. Oh, ja, yeah, dat vind ik daar dan. Ja, ik moet dat, ik moet dat kijkers bij me houden, mensen. Ja. Shall I do the same with you? No. Ja. 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 Mika, listen, uh, it all started, I think, it was two years ago when you had the beautiful, uh, the beautiful uh, first CD. And yes. um, you were 27 two then. Years. 37. 27. Ten, no, I was 23. 23. Now you're 25. Now then. I'm 26. Okay. Yeah. So you won. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a quiz. But uh, there was a little rumor. Did you did you hear the new CD of uh, of a, a person, Mika? <laughs> they they all laugh about my dog because they, you don't think it is a dog. You think it is Robert Powell behaving like a dog. But it's really a dog. <laughs> it's like the TV cantina. This is Irene Moors. <laughs> Het is normaal. Het, het, gaat om mij, het is mijn show, hè? Het is mij af, 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 af. Kom maar, ja. Oh. <laughs> ja, er zit gewoon batterij in. <laughs> Duur als cel. Duur als cel. Nee, 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 I really uh, amazed how I treat my dog. I, I do the same with my musicians. Kom, zit. <laughs> Now, but then was, there was a big room and there's a big, 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 big star coming out. That's your, that, that, that is you. Really? Yeah, we all uh, love you. You do, that's yeah. very kind. And uh, how, how are you doing so far? I'm, I'm doing okay, I'm doing good, you know. I, I've got to be honest, when I first, I think it was in a Lowlands Festival two years ago, which we did, and I, I was just like, we're going to be doing this tent, it's going to be empty, Why? like I'm exhausted, why am I going? And I went and there was thousands of people and everybody knew every lyric and I was just like, it was one of the first experiences in my life where that had happened and it happened at Lowlands Festival in Holland. I was like, this is going to be amazing. And it's curious because most uh, stars, uh, they started all uh, in the Netherlands. We have uh, Adele, we had Lionel Richie, Diana Ross, they all started in the... Now that's really true. That because Lionel Richie was, uh, Diana Ross, was because of Willem Duis. Because Willem Duis was an old-fashioned uh, pr presenter. Uh -huh. It was a little bit like me, but then many years ago. Uh -huh. And th then he, he introduced some uh, artists, and they had the biggest success starting in the Netherlands. Well, I think that's amazing. I mean, I can, when you get the reaction, like even when we did the Heineken Hall, like just hearing people sing the songs back, that doesn't happen in many places around the world, I've no. got to be honest. And you explained yesterday your songs are inspired as you, as you write it, as you wrote it as a seven-year-old girl. Yeah. And now... Oh, boy, sometimes it depends. I, I change my mind. Like yeah, but now it's Sunday, so let, let's, let's okay. do it like a girl. <laughs> and, uh, and then now you say, my second CD, I do it like, an, uh, like a teenager. I uh, interpret my songs <laughs> like a teenager. Well, my, the reason why I started to do that was because there was so much pressure associated with the second album. Obviously, you know, you write these songs in your living room, then they, they become successful and you go on tour for two and a half years and you have to do it all over again. It's one day, last July actually, over a year ago, the tour was suddenly finished and the 40 people that I had traveled with around the world suddenly went home and I was all on my own. And I was supposed to take a four week break and it lasted about four days. And I went back into the studio and I, I wanted to go back to that attitude that I had when I was 16 years old. And that's why I started to do that, you know. Are you sick? Oh, it's, Sorry, uh, it's, yeah. oh, it has to do with your uh, micro. I'm not Mic having a lot of luck. Everything, all my technical stuff is going wrong. Oh, girl, shut up. <laughs> oh, girl, shut up. No, it had to do with your earplugs. It had to do with your earplugs. Even because... the dog ran away from me. <laughs> Don't be so ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> And now, uh, did you, are you getting used to the success? Because everywhere, every, everywhere where you come, the people are really uh, shout and they are crying and they are screaming and they are really hysterical. Yeah, I didn't see you cry or scream. I was crying a lot of, <laughs> lot of, lot of times. Because when I heard the rumor that you were coming to our show, I was crying day after day. <laughs> yeah, and I sung the song, it's my party and I cry if I want to. Cry if I want to. Cry if I want to. <laughs> 
<laughs> so, marry me. Anytime. Anytime. I'm too old. I'm too old. I'm too old. Hoi, dat bussen. Um, now, what can you, you um, Success is a really weird thing because um, it's the thing is one day you feel like you're great and then the next day you feel like you're terrible. So you, the more I, the more success I had with the first album, the more I kind of hid, and um, that's not necessarily healthy. Uh, I think I was afraid more than anything. Afraid of the, 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 the getting on with success? Afraid of the idea of success, because whenever you get success, then you wonder if it's going to stay. You know, that's the thing. And then you start to compete against yourself. Yeah. And of course, when you sit down and you try and write a song, and you think about competing against yourself, it's really dis it's destructive more than and anything. It's very important that you go back to your 16 year. And you yeah, and you go back to the reason why you started doing yeah. it in the first place. Yeah. So that's what that's how I started writing from the perspective of a teenager again. Yeah. But your second album is even better than your first. You think that's yeah. very nice. Yeah, Thanks and very I mean much. it. Not because you have beautiful eyes or you have a beautiful charisma. <laughs> but switch, I switch. think it has to do with... I, I, because you, you always know the second, the second CD or the second film or the second playwright you, uh, you write, it's always less... Uh, uh, not, not as good as the first one, but in your, in, your, um, in your way, it's a very good CD. Thank you very I'm, much. I'm, I'm enjoying it very much. Thank you. So now, after these marvelous words I, uh, I, I, I taught you, um, can you sing another song? I am, I'm going to sing a song called Rain, which is my next single. Yeah. But it is, um, on, on the record, it's a very dancey song. But I'm going to sing it how I wrote it. Yeah, that's nice. Which is very different. So we go back in your 60-year-old girl well no actually Groom. yeah no oh my god <laughs> no, i'm never gonna run away from no, no, that no 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 no, no. sorry sorry no. No. but the um the whole like actually this song was a, a breakup letter that i wrote and i wrote this breakup letter and i left it on the table i never saw that person again and i thought it would be funny to put it to a dance beat yeah. and to get it <laughs> it's this form of passive aggressive revenge i think it, it's it's very cruel but it's sometimes it's fun but now you make it a little you make it easy now and you're sitting in your own boys room with posters of... I never had posters. That's the weird thing. When I was younger, I never had a single poster up on the wall. I mean, my mother was terrified when she walked in one day and I was about 15 years, 14 years old, and I was cleaning the walls with Windex because I wanted them to be as white as possible. Why? I don't know. I had this crazy obsession with, with having everything completely blank, which is like ironic. Like Jan de Free. Really? You know, Jan de Free, no. he's, he's, he's a designer, and everything has to be white. But I don't know, it seems to work. Which goes, it's contrary to me, because everything that I do is so colorful. Yeah. It's almost like I need to live in this kind of white box in so order the to do that. So the colorful personality stays in, this, in a white surrounding. Is that, is that how I can, uh, I can put your words together? Yes, it's very good. Okay, you understand my English? Fully. Okay, you speak French too? Yes. Okay, merci. De rien. <laughs> okay, see you song. Dames en heren, we gaan luisteren nog één keer naar de geweldige Mika. Thank you very much, see you later, hopefully. Uh, met het nummer, uh, I forgot the song, Rain, Rain. Ja, hier komt geen water blauw, Mika met Rain, ja. En Mariska, on the backing. En gieter is Martin.